Hi, in this short video, we're going to take a tour of your site's dashboard, giving you everything that you need to manage your website. Once you go to Wix.com and enter your login details, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Now, if you have more than one site, it's going to display the screen of the site you most recently worked on. So in my case, it's my sample site here called Splendid Cafe. Now, an easy thing to do is to use this drop-down menu where it will show you a quick view of all your websites. Here it's indicating the one that I've premium uh, upgraded and then my free ones as well. From here, I can select the site or edit the site. Now, once you select it, you'll see a page like this and it gives you quick access to manage your domain, your billing and payments, your mailboxes, and so forth. It also shows here on the main section all my apps and I can um, hover over them and manage them from there and also recommended apps that will boost my site in various ways. Click on Managed Site and you'll see your full options for everything to do with your specific site here. So you can view it, rename it, duplicate it, transfer it, delete the site, or revert back uh, to an earlier version by using this icon here with the site history. If this was uh, not a premium plan, I could also upgrade right from here. So they make it really easy for you to do everything you want. Let's take a look here over on the left where you'll see domain management, search engine optimization, the mobile view of your site, adjust your language and region, add your business info if it's a business website, on the social page here, you can add an image so that if somebody shares your site, that image will, will appear on social media. With the premium plan, I've got access to Google Analytics, which is really important for tracking the statistics on my site. And then if you wanted to give somebody a role or permission to access your site, to add things or make changes, you would do that under role and permissions. Now to go into your site editor, you simply go up here and there's two buttons you can choose from and they both say edit site and so it's as simple as clicking on them. Now say you were in your website editor and you wanted to go back to your dashboard to make a change. It's really simple to do that. So once the site is loaded, you would simply go to site and then you'll see here your dashboard and your site manager. So it's as easy as that. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching.